Tom here from Lawrence Systems, and this is a box of game-changing cable. Actually, literally, this is the name of, they call it Game Changer Cable. So I thought this was clever marketing, and it's by Page Datacom Solutions, connecting you to more. Cool slogan they got right there on the box. And uh, that's 200 meters that you see right there. That's 200 meters, and I have a Unify HD access point being powered over a 200 meter run. And this is something I wanted to raise some awareness of because I was not aware. So I imagine there might be a few other people that aren't aware. I was unaware of this product until I had some people commenting on my video where I talked about the transceivers and distance and someone says, Tom, just use the game changer cable. And I'm like, how did I not know about this? Well, sometimes I don't know about things. I'm not afraid to admit it. Now, I have not obviously installed any of this Game Changer cable. This is a demo box. This is not in any way endorsed or sponsored, but they did send me this demo box that I have to send back, which actually it's a really fancy wood box they send up for their demos. And I wanted to test this cable out. And I also took the time, I've actually had it for a couple of weeks because I was waiting to hear back from installers because I have not installed it myself, but I figured I'd reach out to some of the trusted friends I have that do structured cabling and say, what do you guys think of it? overwhelmingly positive and it's a great solution I think to have in your back pocket. So I wanted to talk about it to raise some more awareness of this particular solution. Now here's how this works and right here is the page they have for the game changer cable go two and a half the distance. What this is is cable that instead of being 24 gauge, 26 gauge, or 23 gauge, it's 22 gauge. Now, one great thing about the whole Game Changer cable, they have a lot of documentation. Their website is actually, well, a wealth of knowledge. We'll talk about a couple of things in there. It's actually popular amongst a lot of different technology partners. It's supplied by a lot of the major vendors. So there's not anything secretive about this. And by the way, because this is not at all sponsored or in any way affiliated with them other than me reaching out to them. I don't have any special offer codes or discounts for pricing on it. Sorry. Uh, you have to contact whichever vendor you buy your cable from. Back here to the Game Changer Cable, the first question people want to ask is, does it cost more? It goes further, but does it cost more? Yes, of course it does. You can't use higher density, larger diameter cable without more expense. That's just going to be the nature of it. But I do like that they took the time to put a third party analysis in here. And I'll leave all this here and leave links to all these things. But let's talk about this from a solution standpoint when you're planning structured cabling. When you're doing a warehouse, for example, like we do, and we have a main distribution frame, so our comm room where it all starts, but what if that warehouse exceeds, the run is going to exceed the 100 meter limit? Well, the solution is we're gonna stick an IDF there, which of course means calling out an electrician to run power to it, and then we cable up to that to get those extended runs. But what if they only want two things on the far side of the warehouse? Well, they still have that solution, which adds a lot of expense to the project. Well, this is kind of where that's, a option right here. And this is why I wanted to make sure people are aware of this, because this is something we are now adding to our product line for, you know, a solution when we have a warehouse run or any distance run that's a little bit further. And that's because Game Changer Cable, because of it being the 22 gauge, along with imagining probably some uh, nuance to the way they do the twisting to avoid certain levels of interference and etc. They are able to go 200 meters at one gig without a problem. And this is something I think is really cool because now, cool, if I need to put that camera, especially this is popular in the surveillance industry as well, on that far side of the building that's a little bit further, I don't also have to sell them an IDF. Now, obviously some people are going, but I make money selling more IDFs. So I'm like, well, you do, but I also, are you trying to make the most money out of the project or trying to save the customer money? And you're going to run into bidding against people who are going to know about this product and go, yeah, I can just run one extra cable. So it's not like the cable you do the entire structure cabling project with, but in the circumstance of those further runs, this is a solution that's good, I think, to have in your solutions list because it solves that problem. And this is a couple times you've run into this where we have just a couple runs out of like 200, like three that are uh, of that longer distance. And as long as that distance doesn't exceed what this can do, away you go. Now let's talk about some of the specs and some of the details in here. So they break down that type of, you know, job costing uh, when you use Game Changer for th that. They also talk about termination. And I think this is something that shouldn't be overlooked is game changer cable conductors are 22 gauge just like they say and that means even though the cat 6 spec goes from 22 to 26 more vendors are going to be on the 24 20 
three side. There are four, and some vendors are, you know, 26, but that means not all jacks were designed with that in mind. So they do list jacks that they have that will work with this. So it's not like you're gonna find anything special. Um, they detail it out. And yes, there's jacks that are shielded. Uh, it seems the pull through ones that I've talked about before, the ones that where the cable comes through to be cut are the ones that work best for this. But this is something important uh, of note. You can't just get the cable unless you also have matching uh, things. And it's not like they're special, they're just ones that also accommodate that type of cable. So it's not like these are super hard to find. And now I do not have a fluke tester that will uh, do the full certification on this cable. Um, when we certify cables, which doesn't actually come up as much as people seem to think it does, depending on the type of jobs you're bidding and working on, um, we just either rent or uh, work with another company to get them certified. But they do have one that they've done all the testing and certifications with. So yes, it will pass if you have to have your cable certified. And they have all the specs and all the details here. Next thing people ask me about is voltage drop. Yes, due to the laws of physics, voltage drops. So if the voltage uh, over distance drops too far, obviously your PoE devices won't work. But once again, by using a heavier gauge cable, that solves that problem as well. And they detail out the voltage drops and all the comparisons there. And then they have just dive into every detail spec you want. I was actually just really happy to go to their site and be able to learn so much about it. And I did spend some time talking to their salesperson. And matter of fact, we ended up getting off topic just talking about technology and the long history they've had in the cabling industry. They're not a new startup at all. They've been around for a very long time and they have a lot of talented people that are very experienced in the manufacturing cable. Now it will go further than the 200 meters. There is a length at which, and it's detailed out in here where it will only do at 10 as opposed to one gig. So if you have some type of device that's even further away, yes, it can go that extra distance, uh, but you will have to adjust the switch to force it to probably 10. Either way, all the details are left on their site. I think they've done a great job of answering like every question, especially for those who are uh, want to diving into technical details. I reached out to, like I said, several installers who have used this for a little while and were surprised that I didn't know about it, but uh, said they have had excellent luck with it. It solves that problem of those far further distance runs. I'll leave a link to this uh, site, of course, and you can dive through every technical detail that I didn't want to make an hour video covering and reading and talking about it because it's some of, of the electrical engineering stuff I'm just not as smart on. I also leave a link for those of you wondering about cabling standards with uh, Dan Barrera and the upcoming changes in cabling standards uh, that I just did. I'll leave those videos down there below because he does understand cabling because he sits on the boards for TA and ISO and contributes his electrical engineering knowledge to the understanding of it. So uh, for those of you that want to go into full nerd mode, I'll leave a link to those videos. For those of you who just want a solution that goes a little bit further, I'll leave a link to the uh, page data comment. Like I said, it's sold at all your major cabling vendors and uh, I've got no special links or affiliate and this was not in sponsored or endorsed by them. Thanks. And thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you like YouTube to notify you when new videos come out. If you'd like to hire us, head over to lawrencesystems.com, fill out our contact page, and let us know what we can help you with and what projects you'd like us to work together on. If you want to carry on the discussion, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can carry on the discussion about this video, other videos, or other tech topics in general, even suggestions for new videos. They're accepted right there on our forums, which are free. Also, if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, head over to our affiliate page. We have a lot of great tech offers for you. And once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.